A resident of Charlottesville, Virginia, alarmed over the increasingly authoritarian behavior of the local police, took a stand at a local traffic checkpoint. Joe Drago refused to display his driver's license on demand at the checkpoint, asking if he was a criminal suspect and then insisting that he was free to go when he was told that there were no charges against him. According to Drago, the officer threatened to break his car window and then ordered him to pull over. A review of his license showed that there were no offenses or infractions on his record. Drago then went home and made a sign as quick as I could that said, this is how it started in Nazi Germany, police state checkpoints. He referred to a recent incident in which undercover alcohol investigators wrongfully arrested a local college student and held her overnight because they mistook her bottled water for beer. Drago also said that he was worried about the future his granddaughter would experience if citizens don't rein in the government. Joshua Bledsoe of Texas City spent 10 months in jail for a crime he didn't commit before being released in June 2011 by District Judge Susan Chris. The judge's order for a directed verdict to acquit Bledsoe recognized that former Galveston County Assistant District Attorney John Hall withheld critical evidence from the defense. Bledsoe, who had been held in lengthy pretrial detention, had been charged with holding up a local business. One of the police officers who offered testimony referred to a 911 recording that contradicted key elements of another witness for the prosecution. In that 911 call, the woman who identified Bledsoe in a photo lineup reported that the robbers wore ski masks and that she couldn't identify them. That recording had not been provided to the defense by the DA's office. Hall, who had resigned as deputy DA, faces disciplinary action from the State Bar Association including the possible revocation of his law license. Bledsoe had filed a $3 million federal lawsuit against Galveston County and Texas City. New York Times national security reporter James Risen says that he is prepared to go to prison rather than submit to a federal order demanding that he testify against his sources. The Fourth Circuit Appeals Court in Richmond, Virginia, has ruled that Risen must testify in the criminal trial of former CIA agent Jeffrey Sterling, who is accused of leaking so-called state secrets to the press. The ruling written by Chief Judge William Traxler claims that there is no First Amendment testimonial privilege, absolute or qualified, that protects a reporter from being compelled to testify in criminal proceedings. That ruling was handed down on the same day the Justice Department published new press freedom guidelines. 